In this video, I'm gonna be gonna be taking a break from my crazy Walmart and jail adventures and focusing on oh, what I used to do, uh, some more car repair stuff. This is a teardown of a 45 RFE transmission from a 2002 Dodge Dakota. Uh, but you can find this same transmission in many vehicles such as the 2000 up Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, 2002 and up Dodge Ram, all the way up until 2012. Uh, this is the most common transmission behind the 5.7 liter Hemi, and it's also used uh, behind the 4.7 liter V8 engine, and uh, I believe uh, another diesel engine that, that was in the uh, Jeep Liberty. In this part here, I removed the transmission pan, uh, which exposes the, exposes the valve body and uh, the two transmission filters, uh, which I go ahead and remove here. This isn't a comprehensive video on how to rebuild one of these transmissions. Uh, this is only a teardown and inspection of uh, what actually broke in this transmission and a view of the major components. This may help give you a general idea of what's inside automatic transmissions and give you a little bit of familiarity. Next, I removed the six 10 millimeter bolts securing the valve body to the transmission case and uh, after that I'll remove the valve body. Here I removed the two snap rings uh, securing the transmission, uh, the transmission pump cover to the front of the case and uh, slide that out which exposes the transmission pump. Then I remove the six 10 millimeter bolts securing the pump to the case. And then from the back, I uh, use an ex extension bar and a hammer to knock the pump from the case. Here you can see the input drum, which I was unable to get out in this part of the video uh, due to the failure in this transmission, uh, which was a uh, blown up low reverse clutch. Also, I wanted to show the a broken torque converter clutch spring that was in the pump. Uh, the issue I had been having a few months prior to this was the lockup clutch in the torque converter wasn't working, uh, so the RPMs uh, were fluctuating uh, about a hundred RPMs when it was trying to lock up. Here you can see the damaged uh, low reverse sprag and the damage uh, to two of the three planetary gear sets in this transmission. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part two of uh, when I reassemble this transmission and completely rebuild and overhaul it.